Good morning. This is a video made especially for Linda in New Elm. Down, this is the Gray Wolf 29BH. Okay, we're going to do a little walk through and go over some of the features and benefits of those features. Uh, all right, we'll start right here with the tongue lift. This is an electric tongue lift. Okay, it does have a light in it <clears throat> for hooking up at night. You know, that'd be really nice to so you can see where the ball on the truck is. Um, had the battery be dead or something happen to the electric motor, this cap comes off and there is a crank, manual crank, so you don't get stuck out in the woods somewhere. Inside the black box is two 20-pound propane tanks. And just behind that on this rack is where the batteries will be mounted, okay? This unit also features a rocker panel right here so that when uh, trash is kicking up from the truck pulling it, <clears throat> it's not gonna damage your RV. Moving around to the edge here, we have <clears throat> a storage compartment that is really really large it goes all the way up underneath the bed you can also have access from the inside with the bed there is your 30 amp power cable for when you hook up at the RV parks and state parks <clears throat> next to that is a <clears throat> solar charger connection so if you were somewhere outside of a park and you wanted to be out like at the beach or something and you had purchased a say for example a hundred watt solar panel you could hook that into uh, this port right here and that would allow for uh, charging of your batteries by the way <clears throat> when you are towing the unit the truck itself will also charge the battery also just above it is that external porch light for nighttime use there and it features a electric awning that rolls out. <clears throat> the steps on this unit are the upgraded steps, very heavy duty aluminum, one piece. Uh, it has adjustable feet down at the bottom, so if you're camping in an area where the ground is unlevel, you may want to uh, adjust that a little bit. <clears throat> Over here, just beyond the door, is a vent. This is a vent for the heater so it has an intake, air goes in and the bad air comes out. Okay, It's important to always, once you get your new RV, to make sure that you put a screen over that to keep the mud daubers out of it because if they get in and build a nest and then impede the airflow then the heater will not work. It will just shut down. Also, this unit includes external speakers for the television and your stereo. <clears throat> has a television mount right there so you can bring the TV from the inside out here. It has a power connection to, for the TV here and your cable connection here for the feed to the television. Right above all of this is the vent that uh, vents the air from uh, the stove when you're cooking for your uh, stove hood so it doesn't recirculate it back into the unit. This unit also features an outdoor kitchen, has a two, print, <clears throat> two burner propane tank, that, I mean a two burner propane stove, and the tank connects right here. Uh, it's a quick connect and it utilizes the propane off the front of the unit so you don't have to move propane bottles around. It also features a uh, ice maker that is mounted in place so it doesn't bounce around when you're transporting it. Okay. Plenty of storage up above for all kind of dry goods, that sort of thing. And then you have your refrigerator, nice refrigerator, keep food cold. This also has a utility drawer putting just odds and ends in there. Moving around to the back of the unit, we have a rack that has a 300 pound capacity. This is a great place to put your ice chest. Um, 
sort of important to put your ice chest back here. A lot of times ice chests, as you well know, they'll leak. So uh, wouldn't want them leaking on the floor inside, just make a big mess. And you can put bicycles and that sort of thing back here. Moving around on this side of the unit, we also have additional storage. Okay. This unit is not lacking in storage, that is for sure. Here we have an outdoor shower. That's a wand. It, it features a hot and cold running water, so you don't have to take a cold shower to rinse off before you go into the RV. Right there is your power connection, your 30 amp power connection. Just above that is a black tank flush. So, as you'll notice, right down below, this is the dump for your uh, black water and your gray water. So once you're at a dumping station, you've connected the hose and you're cleaning that out, instead of having to go inside and flush the commode a few times to make it all clean, you simply just hit, hook a water hose at this point and it just automatically flushes out. That's a great feature. Um, got a fresh water tank. There's a fresh water connection here and the city water here. Linda, don't forget the story I told you about getting a regulator for your city water connection to hold the pressure down to make sure that the uh, fittings <clears throat> on the plumbing are, don't get blown out by somebody's uh, real high water pressure that you're hooked to. All right, this unit does feature one slide out. Moving down just a little bit here to the front. This is your six gallon water heater. It is electric and propane. Uh, the average shower person uses about three gallons. Uh, and the minute you start uh, utilizing hot water, the, the fire comes on and it automatically begins to fill back up. And so it tries to keep up with you. Had you run it out of water, hot water, um, with only six gallons in propane, it wouldn't take but just a few minutes to get it really right back to temperature of what you need. So, let's move around into the inside of the unit. Okay, we've got a nice secure handle here. The uh, door, point out here on the door, it's got gas hinges on it. So as you can see, I'm trying to push on it. And that is an important feature uh, because you're going to be a lot of places, it's going to be windy, and that'll keep the door from slamming in your face. All right, I'll just pan around inside here for a moment, and we'll come back around and start with the master bedroom. We have two wardrobes, one on each side of the bed. There's two LED lights that can be turned on and off while you're in bed. You don't have to get out of bed. And there's storage above it. There's also two nightstands on each side. The bed does, it's a queen size bed, and the bed does lift up for a great deal of storage underneath the bed. Okay, if you'll notice, the unit has sliding glass, uh, sliding wooden doors uh, for privacy as opposed to curtains. In the entertainment center, this is where your television mounts, and there is your power and your cable connection for the television. This unit also comes with a Furion DVD player, AFM, FM radio. <clears throat> you can pipe music into the in, inside of the unit or outside of the unit, or you can do that simultaneously. Just below that is a fireplace, electric fireplace and it makes a really nice pretty light in there simulating uh, fire with those glass beads it's really pretty at night so moving over to the kitchen just to the right of the door here is another power outlet there's your monitor for your gray black and fresh water tanks also you can monitor how well how much your uh, batteries are charged up also has a USB port right there. Okay, so the sink is like a residential quality sink. It's stainless steel. Got a stainless steel um, faucet on it with a spray, retractable spray. 
for cleaning big pots and pans. If you'll notice the sink is countersunk so it does not have a lip over the edge. Those sinks with the lip over the edge are really the tough ones to keep clean. This one's easy to keep clean. It's a good attention to detail feature right there. And then of course you have uh, the cover which allows for more counter space. Above that two cabinets for dry storage. You also have 1000 watt microwave and it does have the popcorn button. Okay, uh, here is the hood vent that I've talked about. It has a light in it. It's over the stove. There's a cover over your burners which allows again for more counter space when you need it, not using a stove. It folds back like that. The front burner is 10,000 BTU. The back two burners is 7,500 BTU. And the unit is designed like this so that customers and owners don't have to go out and buy specialized RV pots and pans. That's, that stuff is very expensive. You can just use whatever pots and pans that you have. Just below that is an oven, a nice size oven. And to the left of that is additional storage. All right, moving over to the uh, refrigerator. This is a electric and propane refrigerator. The advantage of that when you're hooked up, say you're at home and you're hooked up and you've got all the food and put it in the refrigerator and you go to leave, as soon as you unplug it, it automatically switches over to propane and the refrigerator continues to run which uh, will keep your food from spoiling. So that's a good feature because you don't have to load and unload ice chests in and out of the, re the refrigerator. Uh, moving down the wall here is the thermostat that controls the AC and heat in the unit. This is the bathroom. Okay, it's a nice size bathroom. It's got a tub in it and a skylight above in the shower. I'm six foot two. There's plenty of room for me to get in there. Lots of room in that shower. Here's your medicine cabinet and the lavatory right there. Has uh, power plugs right there for hair dryers and curlers and that sort of thing. Okay, now we're moving towards the back. This is some storage to the right as you enter the back bedroom. More storage. The back bedroom has its own door. As you look straight on, you'll see that there's even more storage. And then the connection for an additional television back here. It features three bunks on each side. All right, one on each side and then one down here. And then storage here, okay? To, to get up onto the top bunks, you, know, you have your ladder uh, to help assist doing that. Okay, moving out, we're going to come to the dining room area. The dining area, uh, the table drops down. Uh, we utilize the pillows there, and we can actually form another queen size bed that will sleep two people. Below the each, each bench, there is a large drawer for storage that is almost the entire length of that bench right there. So that's for big pots and pans or whatever you may want to put in there. The couch pulls out and forms like a double bed. Okay, so that's, so if you have three people sleeping in the back, two here that's five, two here that's six, and two there, seven, eight. So it could sleep eight people feasibly. All right. The unit also comes with uh, a f fire alarm and also down here below the refrigerator you can see that's where the fuse box is and also that's where the CO2 detector is for poisonous gas. I think I did miss over here by the sink there's two more drawers for storage as well. Uh, this unit features a AC that has ducting throughout it the unit much like you would have at home in central air and what that really means is that the AC is quiet you don't have a roaring AC like a like the old-fashioned window units sometimes the big ones are really make a lot of noise this one doesn't make that kind of noise uh, also all the lights are LED 
uh, they don't put out heat and they last forever so that's a good choice for the lighting all right well I hope this uh, video helps uh, going over some of the features we look forward to seeing you again my name is Jim Gibbons this is Cliff Jones RV in Sealy Texas and this RV would sure like to live in New Elm talk to you soon bye